Okay, so what didn't come out in, in, the, uh, in the interview? <clears throat> so we went through the SpaceX platform. Uh, uh, we looked at a bunch of rocket ships for about two hours. Then we, we went in and for a half an hour, I talked to Elon Musk. Then we did the, the little recording, which took about an hour. And then when we got done, um, Corey was packing up to get out and uh, Elon said, hey, uh, we're going to have a design review of the, uh, the Falcon rocket. You want to hang on? Uh, you can sit in if you want. I oh. sat there for two hours watching a non-engineer. Are you kidding me? These guys are losers. Anybody that would put out something like that is probably sitting on his mom's couch in her basement, smoking dope or something. But I'm telling you what, anybody that knows anything about anything, period, knows that Elon Musk is a brilliant engineer. And that's that. I don't give a rip. He's, I mean, really? He's gone to, he went to school in, in South Africa. He went to school in Canada. He went to school. He taught school. He taught at Princeton. Oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. These are clowns that don't know shit. They're, yeah. They couldn't wipe, they couldn't shine his shoes. I was going to say something nasty, but see how <laughs> I, I didn't want your, uh, I didn't want your, uh, uh, your, your YouTube thing being ruined or whatever. Yeah, no, no, definitely. So you got to sit in, in one of these meetings and you got to see how he deals with this. Well, his top level engineers, right? These are teams that are designing. And by the way, these are not easy. These are rocket engineers, right? Like they're designing rockets. Uh, it, it's yeah. known kind of widely that designing rockets is kind of hard, you know, rock rocket science. Mm -hmm. It's, and he's doing that. So when he's doing that with the cars, I mean, yeah, he knows what he's doing. I'd say, well, and if, if he you, doesn't, if you look at the design of the um, of the um, the Model Y, the new, actually in the Model Three as well, the new um, heating and cooling system. Um, that um, that system is is designed like uh, if we were designing rocket ship kind of parts. That's what they would look like. They don't look like a standard automotive kind of operation because there's usually lines of demarcation between this guy's job and that guy's job. So usually you wind up with more parts than you need. Uh, that um, that um, product that, that we saw uh, with the octo valve and the, um, and the heat pump and everything, that, that was brilliant, uh, a brilliant way to, uh, to show how, um, um, how the product could be built in a, in a new, more effective and efficient way really really smart stuff so when we were looking at the rocket engine they were talking about issues that they had with manufacturing and blah blah i don't want to get into it i we didn't sign any ndas or anything but it's their product and it's not my place to yak about it but mm -hmm. they were talking about one thing by the way this is at 10 30 at night yeah so he works at night. these guys had already been there all day long Elon had some kind of a, I don't know what it was, frozen dinner or something um, during this thing. His, um, his um, incredible secretary, unbelievable secretary, she came in and, and plopped something down in front of me. You haven't eaten, eat this. Okay, good. So he, he ate whatever this thing was. And while we were watching, 1030 at night, he gets up early, works all day, 1030 at night, he's still in there. He's still, and by the way, so is his whole team. Not just the team at SpaceX in Brownsville, but also the um, uh, the team in California. Some guys were speaking with an accent I couldn't quite understand. Uh, these guys are my kind of guys. They they're workaholics. They would get a job at Monroe in a heartbeat. That that's the kind of people that he's got, and that's the kind of um, that's kind of like what he expects. As a matter of fact, at Brownsville, they don't have a. <laughs> If there's a hotel there, I didn't see it. Um, you'd have to go to some some other city. So what they did was they they built like a I don't know haciendas or something like that, so that um, so that they can sleep there. And that's what they so they work all day, walk to the um, um, in-house hotel, whatever you want to call it, uh, grab some sleep, and then get back to it the next morning. I, actually, one of the best things that I saw when I was there was. Um, was a sign hanging on a wall. It said <clears throat> uh, something along the line of um, uh, nobody changed the world um, on a 40 hour work week. <laughs> yes. That's that's profound knowledge, especially when someone says, oh, we need more time for texting. Bull. That's bull. That's we don't need more time for texting. We need more time to getting 
the job done. So, yeah, he's doing big things. His projects and his promises are are big. I mean, people say, "Hey, he's late" or whatever. He like to be critical on him, right? But I mean, he's changing the world, right? This guy's pretty. Yeah. He's pretty special, right? Right. Uh, you've met. I him. think he. I think he's the only hero in the United States. Period. The only Actually, hero. I, I I think uh, I I I can safely say that maybe the world. I don't know anybody else. And I keep my ear to the ground. I don't know of anybody else that's uh, that's doing what he's doing with anything anywhere, period. Yeah.